All right, I'm standing here with Brad and Mindy, and it's a beautiful morning this morning, isn't it? Yes, it is. Wonderful. Yeah. And you guys showed up at the rendezvous just right on the tail end because you had other obligations you had to take care of first. Right. And technically, the rendezvous is already over. However, uh, your trailer was just so sharp and so so uh, well thought out that uh, we just had to do a walkthrough video on your trailer, and we really enjoyed uh, we really enjoyed you coming up and visiting with us last night. Uh, along with a few other stragglers that are still <laughs> still here, you know, which is awesome, absolutely awesome. Very friendly people. Oh, yeah. Isn't that isn't that something? Isn't yeah. that something? And well, that's we were tardy to the party, but we had a great time. Not much <laughs> yeah, that little bitty bit that you got yes. to meet uh, everybody. It was, uh, I mean, they welcomed you with open arms the yeah. the minute you got there, yeah. and it they was sure just uh, absolutely fabulous. And that's uh, that's what we've come to. Uh, expect out of our people you yeah. know what i mean out of the family yeah. that we like food as soon as we walked up they gave us a baggie of food so oh yeah they sure did it. did you yeah. have you sampled it yet oh, yeah yeah it was, was it good yes. all right yeah you got some of the jambalaya yes. Yes. yeah absolutely anyway i'm standing here with your beautiful uh seven by 16 yes. is that correct yes it is and the height i think is six six yes it is okay all righty now you did something unique and I'm going to let you tell the story, how you arrived at all the pieces parts to put your trailer together. Well, we were initially um, going to make a very bare bones trailer. Yeah. Um, but we found a great deal on a slide in overhead truck trailer that had been damaged. Um, we purchased it for $200, I yeah. believe. And I stripped everything I could out of it. Um, the refrigerator, the uh, hot water tank, the stove, stove, windows, yeah, light fixtures. I even pulled fans. copper uh, copper tubing for the uh, propane out of it and some water lines mm -hmm. to be able to build this. And so that made it. We had to rethink the whole scheme of what we did, and um, but it, it really turned out like an RV, mm -hmm. uh, which. So we have the 12 volt as well as the 110 volt, and we were just initially going to go with just a simple bed and a, a little pump sink or something like that from a five gallon bucket. But now we've got the uh, 26 gallon water tank, and we have a 25 gallon gray tank, and it's it's self-contained. We yeah. can go awesome. anywhere. We previously owned a uh, RV. I was at 30 foot or whatever. 30 foot RV. Yeah, 30 foot. RV. And with slide outs and everything, but when we decided to build this after watching the videos, <laughs> we, like, Boy, we could pull Thank this you. faster, yes. you know, in places with less gas than pulling that huge RV. And so we made it exactly the way we like it. Inside. And it's paid yeah. for. That's the big deal. Isn't that the neat thing about the whole thing? Yes. Right. And by doing it the way you did, buying this damaged uh, uh, overhead truck, truck camper, you saved a lot of money doing oh, yeah. a ton of money yeah. mm -hmm. just we we figured out for the price of this one window if we were to buy this one window it paid for all the components that we put inside oh yeah really buying that truck camper of course we had to cut it up and get rid of it at the landfill when we yeah. finished but that was a whole kind of a fun experience in itself to be honest with you but uh, it was just really a neat provision um, and it took a while to build it, of course, and we had to sit down and figure out how we were going to make everything work, and we, we like what we did, but it may not be what somebody else may want. Well, and, and that's, the, and that's yeah. what we always stress in all of our videos. You know, you, people watching these videos, they might not do it exactly like that, but there's always something mm -hmm. that you can glean from this that you can use in your own project, you know, True. And, and that's the way uh, we like to approach all that stuff. You know, and speaking of the windows, did you do that window yourself, or did that come with the uh, overhead camper as well? Every window came out of the slide-in truck camper. Okay. And so we stripped this of all of the wood that was in on the walls, and um, I laid out where I was going to put the windows, where I was going to put the air conditioner, which came on the truck camper. Yes. And, uh, and taped off the floor where we wanted the bed. But I, <laughs> but I took it. I took it to a friend of mine who welded some header and a footer for it because I didn't want to lose any of the structural integrity right. that was in the trailer. 
and he also put some supports for the air unit that was on that's on top and fans. Uh, yes and Next for fans. the fantastic fans that we have on top so we made sure that everything we didn't want to lose any of the strength in, exactly. the, in the camper before we put the insulation boards and everything in it so we have it insulated all the way around the floor the walls ceiling, the ceiling fantastic. It's, it's insulated fantastic and I love your graphics on the side, thank by you. the way. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's an Amazon special. Right? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> well, Deb and I have been looking at some of those Amazon specials, mm -hmm. figuring out what we want to do with ours. Yeah, uh, we have one on the back, too. It's do you really? A compass. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, we'll show that one as we do a walk mm -hmm. around. Well, why don't we walk around here to the front and just sure. kind of do a quick walk around right quick. Okay. And, uh, and I see you got your propane tanks here, so tell us about... I have uh, uh, dual 20... 20 gallon uh, propane tanks that so we can switch from one to the other so if one goes out I know I've, I've sure. got the reserve um, and like I shared you know the copper tubing I I robbed from the camper um, you know I found a neat little tongue lock I've got I wanted the bulldog hitch um, and the tongue lock is actually keyed um, to my truck Really, my, my pickup truck key works for that. You can find those, and I, I so that works fantastic. Fantastic, but, uh, fantastic. Anyway, uh, but that's okay. About all there is. Yeah, sure. And then over here, uh, of course, since you use the refrigerator that came in the camper, this is right. your rear vent for the uh, RV style fridge. Correct, and uh -huh. and. Uh, you know, whenever I started cutting into the camper, I, it was the point of no return. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's where it gets a little bit a uh, little bit hairy as far as your nerves concerned about making mistakes. But you know, when you have a good plan, you've you've thought it through, uh, it comes together. There you um, go. But we also have this the six gallon hot water tank that came off of the the truck camper also and of course it's propane power it is well. propane mm -hmm. okay um this is for the uh the heat the heater that came out of that also uh vent hood for for the stove um, and of course outdoor shower uh, and your water inlet so we we again i shared i have a 26 gallon uh fresh water tank and then of course you can you can tie into your uh to direct line as well right to city water to city water uh -huh. yes sir and then um, I have it set up for our television uh, the cable TV uh, we stayed at Branson at a park one time and used that uh, there uh, then of course for our 30 amp um, uh, power that's there uh, we've added uh, up here we've added a uh, uh, what is this a cell phone Booster. signal booster mm -hmm. that we picked up off of Amazon because when you're in one of these um, that signal doesn't like to get through this tell this, me about this it. siding <laughs> um, you know but you know, we've we bought a brand new camper in 2019 and it just within a couple of years we started seeing things come apart uh, the very first time I pulled it out I lost a wheel no kidding and um, wow so we we're just thrilled with the uh, the workmanship that goes into these these trailers this will last us for years and years and years absolutely uh, we have a one-piece roof that's solid aluminum and uh, I don't have to worry about leaks rubber roof leaking so we're thrilled with it this window is by our bed and it is a, an emergency window so it'll just kick out okay and we can come through there if we desire and then of course uh this is our um uh gray water gray sewer. water yes mm -hmm. and then we had uh, these jacks uh put on my friend welded plate under there and welded that up for us fantastic so fantastic. we've added those and you've got to see oh yeah Let's yeah, go, we got a little let's, graphic. Let's there. check out your graphic you got going here. And I, I got a little bit skewed. I, I <laughs> so it is a little curve. And and we do have some uh, storage. I'll open up. We wanted the barn doors, and we're not done back here by any means. Uh, I, I have five 
I have 500 watts of solar that we're going to add eventually. I have, I have 300 uh, amp hours of batteries uh, right now, that, okay. and we're going to tie that in. But we have uh, we have quite a bit of room. We put yeah, chairs do. and things under the bed here. Um, and our tanks, water yeah, tanks. Yeah, our water yeah, tanks water are tank under right there. Uh -huh. Both of them are there. Yeah. So. Uh, oh yeah, they're right side beside. Well, one's the gray and one's the right. The the fresh, of course. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And so. Got a little yeah. light back here, a little work light. Yeah, it's a little work light. Are those late night pull-ins? <laughs> somebody told us about these little connectors on yeah, their video. Yeah, those things. And uh, so we've we really have. Uh, they were great. I love them at putting this together. So. Oh, it just makes makes connections so much easier. Oh, it does. And uh, Fant foolproof. <laughs> Fantastic. But we'll show you show you the inside. Yeah, we're going to okay. be right back. We're going to step right. inside. Alrighty, I guess we'll start back here at the back. Okay. And you've got uh, two fantastic fans, right? Right, yeah. right. And again, they came out of the truck camper that we bought. Uh, this one uh, goes both directions. It'll pull air out as well as blow air in. And then the one in the bathroom just draws air outside. Okay. So if we can we can pull a draft through the, through the trailer pretty easily. Pretty easily. Yeah, I'm sure it works uh, real good doing that. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. And we put a sound bar up here and a, a, a 12 volt TV, um, so it plays DVD. And and I have a King antenna that we put put on the unit. Yeah, I saw that, and that's where you can uh, direct it right, right. there. Right, you can yeah. direct it over here. Mm -hmm. um, under under here, I've wired uh, USB ports for both of us. Okay. And of course, we're, we have a queen size bed, and uh, I've placed some drawers here. And I use a CPAP, so I wanted a place I could put my CPAP and okay. and plug in my plug that in. And of course, our power station, and and underneath here, this is where our water tanks are, sure, and and storage as well. Um, we wanted a good size sink and and. Uh, we enjoy eating. It seems like when we go camping, you you food tastes better when you're out. <laughs> so we wanted to make sure we had a little counter space to do food prep as well as as well as to uh, uh, you know to, to do whatever needs to be done. Currently, this is our only sink. I'm going to add another sink in our bathroom soon. Um, but uh, so she has some storage here. Uh, we actually didn't want to put anything in this area we've watched different videos of others and um, we wanted it to be kind of uh, open uh, we have a couple of table or a couple of chairs we set up and a little small table uh, if it's just us we we also bought some little bunk beds uh, that collapse down and we can put in here for our grandkids really and so we have room for that uh, to take them. So we've got a couple of trips planned for our grandkids uh, well, that, in the future. That's the first thing I noticed when I stepped in. It's roomy right here. There's, yeah, it feels very roomy right here because of the way you, it's totally uncluttered. I guess that's the way I can say that. That's, yeah. well, we tried that. Right. You know, we went with a white because we wanted it to feel as open as possible. Uh, you know, darker colors seem to kind of close in on you. Yeah, I understand. So now, did you build your cabinets yourself? Yes, sir. I did. Okay. I did. I, I built those, framed framed them with two by twos, and then um, this is basically an L, and uh, screwed in up here, and then uh, covered it with uh, the side this uh, panel board, and then made my cabinets. Well, you did a fantastic job. Thank you. It looks dad, really, really nice. His dad was a carpenter. So yeah. Ah, that helps. <laughs> Yeah, so you yeah. had a little bit of training along the way. Huh? A little bit of training, <laughs> a little bit of training, and of course, you know, it, it, we've got the propane stove and the vent hood and the microwave, and so it's, it, truthfully, it has everything that our large RV had. It's just scaled down mm -hmm. uh, in size, and we're able to take this wherever we want to go. Yeah, um, and 
and we watched somebody else that told us about making sure you have plenty of lighting in your in your trailer <laughs> uh, and so uh, we made sure and put plenty of lights throughout this um, I think I bought one light the rest of them were in that other camper. Uh, but one of the areas I think you mentioned on the video was the bathroom yes in and, and that shower Absolutely. and so we made certain and put a light in the shower um, so it wouldn't be dark in there and we're so glad that we did and we wanted to make sure we've got a bought a really good smoke detector um, absolutely carbon monoxide detector and, and uh, fire extinguisher uh, is, safety is is paramount absolutely. Uh, absolutely when you're in one of these um, now our bathroom is it's evolving um, our our shower it's a, it's a small shower and, and I'm six foot five, but I can fit in there. It's I think that pan is a 30 inch pan, if I'm not mistaken, either 28 or 30 inch pan. Okay. And uh, we use an oxygenic shower head, and uh, we're just trying to maximize the space. And uh, of course, we've done just what you did as well. Uh, underneath this little uh, bump out, I have is is one of those. Uh, pumps water pumps the shower box pump. shower box mm -hmm. so all of our water from here is pumped back uh, under the bed in the in the tank and how's it working for you it works great mm -hmm. it works fantastic so that explains why you have the shower pan raised up a little bit here yes so you'll it'll be able to drain down into the shower box exactly right exactly and we did have a um, separate um, toilet seat that we bought and uh, which it has the urine diverter, uh, and we took that out. It worked well for a while, but we felt like that that we just wanted a, like a cassette type toilet. I understand. And so we just purchased a Thetford 565E yeah. uh, cassette toilet, and called the Thetford Curve, or, if I remember. Yeah, correctly. yeah. And so right? it works great. Mm -hmm. It works great. Um, it has five and a half gallons of fresh water in the top and then it holds I think five gallons at the bottom and it's battery flush the way that works and they're reasonably priced they are yeah. they really are mm -hmm. so we were we were looking at uh, one that they use for uh, class B vans where the, the cassette comes through the wall on the right. outside and those were seven hundred dollars yeah. uh, this yeah. was about a hundred and fifty yeah. So <laughs> that's a big. This difference. is what we went with. Yeah. Uh, but eventually, we're going to put. A, I already have a drain. My drain line ran. I'm going to put a sink right here, as well as a um, uh, a little uh, mirror up here, uh -huh. uh, kind of a vanity. And we we have the components. It's just the time to get that done. That's all it takes is time. Right. Yeah. Just time. Man, and finding the time to do it that's all. Right. That's right. For sure. That's right. All righty. Well, this is so sharp. Well, tell us about your floor before we okay. go. Okay, um, my uh, a friend of mine um, saw. Well, the guy that did the welding for me, he he shared with me that uh, he had some wood flooring left over that, that from a job that he had done in his house, and so he he gave all this to us, and so we put it in. It's just tongue and groove flooring. Okay, is it is it regular real wood flooring or is it the uh, click to fit? It's the uh, click to fit, to fit uh, laminate flooring. That's what okay, it is. Gotcha. He's, he's leaving something out there. This friend is soon to be our son-in-law. Yeah, it's son soon to be our son. Oh, soon to be yeah. our son-in-law. Yes. So he's yeah. trying to get on uh, mother and father-in-law's good side. <laughs> well, you suppose he's already there. He he's all good. He's, he's already there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, that's uh, that's so great. So shout out to Charlie. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's right. All right, Charlie. Charlie, you got you're going to have some great in-laws here. Yeah. I can tell you that already. And then yeah. we just used uh, pill and stick from Lowe's sure. in the bathroom, and but it's we wanted something so when you get wet, we we like to go to the lake and get you play know, in the water. Play in the water. So sure. we wanted to make sure that we didn't have to worry about carpet. Absolutely. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Let me get another suite back here for the viewers and uh, give them a good shot of all that again. And your kitchen cab, your cabinet work is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. It's just gorgeous. You did a really, really good job on that. And of course, this is the uh, 
a standard RV style fridge. Right, it and, runs three-way propane, electric, um, or 12 volt. Great. Uh, all righty, uh, that covers that pretty good. Why don't we step outside sure. for a second? Well, Brad and Mindy, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time and letting us uh, take a look at your trailer. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You guys did a wonderful job, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it for many, many years to come. And, and the other thing, too, as well, we are so happy, even though you've arrived right on the tail end because of other obligations, we're so tickled to death that you all were able to come uh, to the end, at least to the end of the rendezvous. Yes. And you still got to meet so many wonderful yes, folks. Sure did. Yeah. Sure did. And, uh, and what did they do? They welcomed you with open arms within right. just a couple of minutes. And threw us food. And, <laughs> and gave you food. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Didn't want you to miss out on anything. Yeah. Right. But for right now, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, sign off for now. Okay. And you know what we say. We're not camping. We're, we're living. living. We are, aren't we? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you.